today. The coronavirus pandemic is impacting frontline workers, including law enforcement. In New York, 31 members of the NYPD have passed away from COVID-19. The LA Times recently reported that 108 members of the Los Angeles Police Department have tested positive for COVID-19. And in Chicago, they recently announced a number of cases in that department hit more than 500. Ford is stepping in to help up, help uh, sanitation in their cruisers for police officers. So joining us this morning is auto expert Nick Miles to tell us exactly what it is Ford doing here. Yeah, good morning. And Ford have actually done something pretty clever. The Explorer Interceptor, which is made in Chicago, actually has the hardware already in it to be able to do this. What Ford have done is develop the software for it. And so the software cycles through this vehicle in 15 minutes and heats it up on the inside to 133 degrees while it's parked. And then it will kill all of the coronavirus and any bacteria, 99% of that on any touchable surfaces. So as different Different police officers and other people get in and out of that vehicle. They know the vehicle's been sanitized. The updates for this vehicle, it can be updated on existing vehicles in police fleets, and it's done over the air. So a great wow. solution for these guys instead of having to spend hours cleaning the vehicle after different people have been in it. That is absolutely phenomenal. Never would have thought of something like that. Uh, April was a devastating month for the auto industry with sales in some areas down 90%. Uh, are, are shoppers buying vehicles again? I know you just got some breaking news for us about this. Yeah, so the figures overall for the United States are around 20% down in May, which is a lot better than some of the people were predicting. However, Sacramento seems to have bounced back 7% down. That is all from pre-virus predictions and hot vehicles are running off the lots. Trucks, trucks, trucks. The number one seller is not a truck. It's a subcompact vehicle. It's the uh, Honda Civic. But everything after that is all about trucks. And even those mid-sized trucks like the Tacoma and the Ranger, they're pulling bigger numbers than expected. And they're actually pulling up the national average, yeah. sometimes in the positive uh, column. Nissan, closing factories and reducing the number of cars. Uh, tell us more about it. Made a loss for the first time in 11 years, and that means big cuts coming in Nissan down from 69 models to 55. They're also closing their Barcelona factory, but the U.S. may benefit from that. Nissan also announcing that they will refresh their entire line of vehicles. So expect to see new Nissans in all the dealerships over the next couple of years. Perfect. Now, let's talk about the Bronco. The launch of the Bronco is originally scheduled for April 2nd, but canceled due to COVID-19. Please tell me it's still coming. So the two most anticipated launches of this year were the Land Rover Defender, which we saw at the Chicago Auto Show, we saw in LA last year. It's actually now arriving at some of those people that pre-ordered the vehicle, they're actually receiving them. But we're still waiting for the Bronco. And Ford told me yesterday that the Bronco will be announced in July and also that Fox 40 will have uh, the rights to be there at the event and to see the vehicle what? unveiled. So we're looking forward to seeing a brand new Bronco in the next few weeks. No one else does it better than you. Let me just say that. Getting <laughs> exclusives like this, this is the man who gets it done, Nick Miles. You got the best job in the country. I got to tell you that right now. I agree. Thank you so much, and we're excited for that debut when it happens. Again, Nick Miles joining us. We appreciate Thank it. You. Now,